Hi everybody, Dave Durch here. Welcome to our Paris Pod Show. Uh, AdvancedFightingSystems.net, if you would check us out. And of course, uh, go on our YouTube station and like us and subscribe, if you would please, and tell your uh, friends all about us. And as always, anything that you would like me to shoot a video on or talk about on a pod show, please send me a message. Don't hesitate. Send me a message. Call me. You're warm welcome. I'll talk to you and I'll do my best to uh, put something together for you. Okay? This show is about techniques and attributes. Okay? I'm going to talk a little bit about about the difference, okay? You know, what is a technique? You know, a technique is, is uh, like, say, any certain type of move or anything whatsoever. In other words, like, uh, you know, how to catch a grounder in baseball. You know, they say spread your legs, put your hand, you know, down in the center, you know, put it maybe, you know, six inches off the ground, and when the ball comes, you know, you catch it, okay? And then what happens, and that's the technique, but then you don't catch the ball because maybe the ball hits a rock, goes over there, because you didn't have the attribute to be able to catch that. You had the technique, okay, but you didn't have the attribute. And what we do, I have changed things. We are about the attribute. Okay, the technique is at the other end. Where most places, it's the technique. Okay, where it's say like a form or this or that or throwing a jab proper way. You know, I have to throw a jab. I want to throw a jab. Right, the technique. Okay, so you want to learn how to throw say a, a jab proper. Okay, but you want the attributes to be able to deliver that jab to do what you need that jaw jab perform, okay, see, so if you just work on the technique itself, how good I look at throwing this jab, but I don't have the attributes to be able to pull it off when I need it, it's no good to me, okay, so it's the attribute to us is what's most important, and I'm not saying the technique isn't, of course, so when I do stuff, I show, I show how to do something, okay, let's say maybe it is a jab, and, and uh, I show them how to perform it, what to do, but I have drills, okay, and ways of training to bring out different attributes so that you can pull that off in a situation where you need it, okay? And at, the more you mess with this, the more your technique's going to get refined, okay? But like I said, you can have, think of it. You can have the perfect jab, the most beautiful jab in the world. I mean, the perfect jab, right? That you can punch that bag and develop or focus pad and develop that perfect, perfect jab. But if you don't have the attribute to hit that person at the right time when you need to with that jab, that jab is, is basically useless. Because that's what you want. You want the at attributes, the hand-eye coordination, okay? The economic of movement, the footwork, and all that to be able to what? Pull that jab off when you need it to hit this person. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. So, so with that said, we're to us the most important thing is, is the is the attribute. And we have all types of different drills, okay, to pull to bring out different attributes, okay, in what we want. So let's say Let's say we want speed. Now when we look at speed, I talked about speed before. There's different types of speed. You have what you could call, you know, your speed as far as mile per hour. Okay? You can have your speed as what I would call explosion as far as how you left this point. Okay? How it exploded out. Think of the boy leaving the gun. It explodes out. So you have them type of speeds, or else you have that, you know, what I like to call that cat-like response, you know, that, you know, that quick explosion, quickness like that, okay? So, 
when you're looking at attributes and what you want to, to train, okay, say it's about it's about speed, okay, the attribute of the of the speed. Maybe the attribute of the speed from a distance of maybe six foot away to the attributes of speed of speed like Bruce Lee's one inch punch you right there and you just exploded on this person. Uh, okay? So we want to develop these attributes so we can pull this stuff off when we need it in, in a type of altercation. That's the main thing, that's the main reason we're doing this. Not to look pretty. You know, in, in reality, a JKD guy, he doesn't look pretty. I mean, it's the karate guy that looks pretty, you know what I mean, not knocking it, but a JKD guy, he don't look pretty. He, he's just gone, okay? So we're not concerned with that, okay, of, of that prettiness. But again, the technique, now the technique is important, but without the, tech, without the attribute, you cannot pull off the technique. And everybody's into technique training, wanting to say, whatever it is, say Hoover or jab or cross, whatever, throwing that perfect, perfect punch, okay? And the odds of you getting into an altercation with somebody throwing a perfect punch and all that is slim. But you still, you want to be prepared for that, okay? You want to be prepared. So the attribute of maybe footwork, or oh, let's go back to speed. So you have different type of speed. So as far as the mile per hour speed, okay, we like to pull out the stick, okay, the, the Filipino stick, the college stick. It's been known that if to travel 120, 150 mile an hour, okay. So that's your mile per hour speed. Then we have different drills, like say you know we have you know sobrado, we have six count, we have you know, all types of different drills that we pull from to bring out that attribute for that speed, but that attribute to be able to hit what we need to hit. So we spar, okay, you, and, and what we have, what we do, we have what we call the feed, we're flowing, then we have sparring, and sparring doesn't mean you're going nuts. Sparring could be at 5%, and then you have combat. And my suggestion, like about combat, we go into combat maybe once every two months to see where we are, and then we go back to our normal training. Okay? So the combat is literally getting it, is literally getting on. But the spine, there's different ways to spine. So the stick, we use that stick to pull out that attribute, let's say a speed. Now when you're using that stick and I'm out here, whatever, I have to have footwork. Okay, so we have drills designed that, you know, we have the footwork, we have what we would call the entry, we have what we would call hitting our target, okay, see, or else placement, I like to use the word placement, okay, so we have that, we have them drills to develop them attributes, that's what's most important, and when you look at the fight, what's most important is if you're in some altercation, that you get in this altercation, you know, with the tools you have, but you have to have the attributes to pull it up. The baseball player out there in the field, he has to have attribute of, attributes of a fly ball coming to run, and have that right timing to jump, whatever it is, get that glove up and catch that ball. I mean, as far as the technique, say when the ball comes to you, you take your glove, you pull it up, and you try to, and you catch the ball, but you got to have that attribute. So what he had to do, there was many attributes that was involved in him catching that ball. He had to run, he had to watch the ball, he had to keep his balance, he had to have perfect time, he had to get the glove up the right way, he had to avoid maybe the sun. All kinds, all types of different attributes come and play to catch that ball, okay? Okay, and maybe when he caught that ball, he didn't have perfect form. In other words, the technique wasn't perfect. I mean, it didn't look, you know what I mean? It looked like he was pretty clumsy, but he caught the ball. What mattered? Catching the ball. See? Not how pretty he looked doing all, or was his form perfect. All mattered was him catching the ball. That's what was most important, okay? So without that attribute, you're not going to pull that off. Okay, so the speed that we pull out, this stick, and we have numerous drills that we train 
okay, with that there to, to get that speed, that mile, what I like to call personally, that mile per hour speed. That's what I like to call mile per hour speed. Then we have what? The explosion speed. Okay? So the explosion is like, like I said, a cat-like response where we pull out the blade. And then, of course, the shorter the blade, the more explosive you're going to be. So we have drills to bring out, we, we have different drills with the blade to bring out explosiveness. Okay? Not always along with that explosiveness. There's many of attributes that are involved in this. In that. Okay, again, footwork, hand eye coordination, maybe some sensitivity, different things like that there. Okay, now why I'm talking about this because I'm trying to, see, because everybody looks at the technique. That's the main thing they look at. From what I see, is the main thing they look at is the technique. And I'm telling you, the most important thing is the attribute. Okay, it's the attribute to pull that technique off. All right, so we have drills for the blade. Okay, to, to pull out that quick response. And then let's say for footwork, we have drills which call say numerata for footwork where we flow, we move around constantly developing that footwork. We have drills to keep our balance, okay? And this is what we do mainly. Then out of that we put our tool in, which may be our technique, okay? But the main thing is we're training these attributes to be able to pull off that technique, okay? To be able to pull that off, that's what you have Football players, uh, uh, halfback, he runs tires. Now when he's out there, he runs tires to develop attributes. Okay? But when he run, he's out there on the field, he's not running the same way he runs them tires. Okay? He's out there, they have drills to develop to go out there and move with the tackles coming this way, two tackles with him, he's trying to what? Avoid them guys. Or the, the uh, guy catching the pass. The same way, okay? But it's that attribute that pulls that off, not the perfect technique, not the perfect technique. Now again, I'm not knocking technique, I'm just saying you have to have the attribute to pull that off. So we have numerous drills, okay, to pull, to, to bring out everything. And that's what I'm trying to say to you in your training. When you're training, you say, you know, I, I, want, I want to expel on my footwork. Okay, so we have drills, like I said, numerata. So develop drills to develop that footwork, but out of the fight game. Okay, out of the fight game. This guy, the football player, ran the tires. He ran the tires to develop some algorithm, some attributes, coordination, maybe this and that there. Okay, but then he's out on the field. And now he's not practicing on the field. Maybe he has one guy coming to tackle him, two guys coming to tackle him, but he's out there on the field developing the attributes that he needs during that football game. So now that's where we want to change things, change that drill a little bit. You have a drill, break the drill, and go into training to develop that attribute out of the fight. This is what I see lacking, not being smart in the martial arts, not that I'm all knowledge or anything, I'm just giving you my personal opinion, you know, from uh, my training of over 50 years, but that's what I see. They don't take it to the fight, okay? And then when they, they do fight, oh, this is kickboxing, you know, or let's just say exchanging blows. I'm hitting you, you're hitting me, I'm hitting you, you're hitting me. There's no real skill level there, because that's the last thing you want to do is in a street altercation, is going to exchange blow. Maybe the guy's got a knife, maybe there's two. Maybe this guy's 50 pounds heavier than you. Maybe you run into Mike Tyson out on the street, you want to exchange blows and boxing with Mike Tyson? No, not if you got brain in your head, because he's going to put you in that zip code. See? So, so again, back to the attributes, that's the most important thing, but you got to take that, and you got to come up with drills that you can pull that off in the fight, okay? And then, okay, so even in sparring, so you can have sparring drills. Like I said, when you're sparring, as long as I'm trying to hit you, we're sparring. If I have my little girl here, five years old, and I'm teaching her how to play, how to hit the baseball, I'm throwing it to her nice and easy, chest high, so she can learn to hit the ball. 
I'm not sitting here throwing a 60 mile an hour ball and saying we're going to have to hit it. But we're still playing baseball. We're still playing baseball. Why are we just playing catch? Nice thing. We're still playing baseball. So when that sparring thing is, there's levels of sparring. And of course, when you're sparring, the slower you can go and work, you develop more attitudes. Because why? Because you feel. And when you go fast, the faster you go, you miss things. See? You miss things. Okay, your body doesn't feel certain things, so you want to go slow. So like we're sparring, maybe 5%, 10%, you're still sparring. Okay? So it ain't about just always getting it on. But we have all kinds of drills for different attributes, where it's the trap, okay? You see what I'm saying? Or in the clinch, or on the ground, whatsoever it is, to improve these attributes. So whatever, when you have a chain, no matter how strong the chain is, there's always a weak link. Always. So we always got that weak link. So the key is, look at where your weak link is, okay? So let's say maybe your weak link is um, kicking, would you say, okay? So th that's your weak link. Now, as far as kicking, what am I saying? Kicking the bag or, or a kick, kicking, so I have this perfect kick, or I'm being able to kick this person, during a fight, okay? When the crap's hitting the fan, being able to do that, that's how I look at it. So, yeah, you can go to the bag, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, and work that kick, okay, to get where you think it looks perfect, okay? Or you want, you're want you trying to get, say, power, okay? You see what I'm saying, all right? So, something like that there. But the main thing is, you want to be able to use that kick have a nice kick where we use it in the fight. So you, you develop the kick, and then the more you're out of here, and let's say you've got somebody just jabbing at you, and, and, and you learn to kick that, try to kick that leg, okay? So the more you're sitting out here moving, and you're, and you're kicking that leg, you are developing the technique, right? You are starting to get better at that kick, but you're getting better at that kick while you're in combat, while you're sparring, that's the main thing. Now, I'm not saying don't kick the bag, nothing like that there. What I'm saying put more time into creating drills to, to create these attributes so you can kick that leg or whatever it is you want to kick, the face, whatever it is, while you're in combat, while you're sparring. That's what I'm talking about. So that's when you want that, and it's that like attribute's going to be able to pull that off. For instance, let's say, let's say if you want to be explosive, say, with your kick, let's say, however maybe, let's say I'm kicking the groin, okay, and I want to be explosive with the kick, all right? So now I, I have, a, let's say, a guy, you know, jabbing at me and throwing crosses, just let's just say he's punching at me, however it is. And I'm out here moving around, and I'm trying to, as I'm trying to find, because our concept is I want to create pain on him, not get it. So I'm out here moving around, find time to kick the groin. Now I'm here, I'll find time to kick that groin. Okay, that's what I, I want to do. Then I have somebody else doing it, then I have somebody else doing it, and whatsoever. Now these guys out here throwing combinations, right? Okay. So now I want that kick to be quicker because. It takes timing to kick that kick in. When you're trying to kick him and not get kicked back or hit back. So in other words, you say trying to kick him and not get any pain back. So it takes timing, perfect timing, footwork, all kinds of attributes to pull that off. I can sit here and throw the kick in the air. I can sit here and kick the bag, the bag, the bag, but they ain't developing any attributes. Not attributes that I need in the fight in the combat, and that's what all this is, uh, is this, excuse me, that's what this is about, okay? So now, if I want to get better at that, uh, take, say, faster, okay, where it's going to take more time or whatsoever, I say, get a guy with two blades, okay? You can start out with one blade, or you can go to two blades, you can get a stick, one stick, you can get a stick, two sticks, whatsoever. 
But now imagine this here. So let's say I got a guy with blades. Now I'm throwing combinations. There's combinations coming with my hands, my kicks, I'm throwing combinations like that. Okay. Now imagine some dude with the blades in his hands, he's coming at you like this. He's moving around. He's dicing at you. He slices he's like this, boom, slicing at you with two blades, oh, bang, trying to trying to cut you up. Okay? You see? So now relate that to the boxer. Because all we're looking at is lines. Okay? There's either a straight line or hook line. That's the only lines there are. A straight line hook line. So now I could be, I could be like saying jab, cross, hook. Okay? Here's what it would be if I had a blade. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, boom. I went right there. So that could be your jab. Say boom, right there. Cross, hook, see? That's it. I'm dicing. Now, the thing of the blade is what? You cannot be touched. See, people don't understand how deadly a knife is. Okay? Most people stab, like I said, we dice, we slice. Okay? So that blade hits you. You just took a deep cut. Check out my video online where I took a piece of ham, I believe it was, like this, and sliced it right through. That's your form. Okay? So that dice it. There it is, slice it. Now you cannot be touched by that blade. You're trying to get this kick in there, okay, while he's dicing at you and not get and not get cut. Now the simple thing for him is what? Okay? Let's say normally he's punching at you and you're trying to get that kick in, he's punching, and he goes through, he throws down like a block. You know what I mean? To stop the kick. Or something. Now this guy's got a blade, all he has to do is what? Just what I hit, there's my big move, bang. I just tapped away, bang. So I just diced away. So in this action, understanding, understanding, you want to get that ticket and not get cut. So I got to be in, back out, without getting cut. So the blade's so much faster. Okay, and all I have to be, I get touched by, so I have to be precise with what? My timing, my footwork, every hand, bam, get it in, so I have to explode. Way faster than I would this guy's throwing combinations at me. So there's your explosive. So see what I'm saying? About the attitude, so I want to be more explosive, which is the type of speed, okay, all right? I want to be more explosive, so now I pull out the blade. You can start out and just die with one blade. See, two blades whatsoever. But the blade is what? So much faster, so much more dangerous. So there you're taking your attributes up. So you could spend, you know, an hour kicking a bag. Now I'm not saying that's anything wrong with that. I'm saying they're just kicking a bag, kicking a bag, okay? Or you could spend 10 minutes kicking a bag, and now you 50 minutes out here moving maybe just 10%. The guy saying you're trying to get that kick in as you're out of here in the fight home, trying to get it in, trying to get it in. You see what I'm saying? So it's that attribute. Okay, and there's a, a ton of attributes going on at that time as you're moving, trying to find the time to get that in. Then you could do it with a stick. See? Okay? You know what I mean? Then if you do it with a stick, I advise you, you know, put something on your shins to protect your shins, you know? Okay, if you're going for the groin. You can do this way. You can be tie kicking. You can be throwing a kick to the face if you want. That is totally up to you. I'm just showing you what we look at the difference of the attribute and the difference of the technique. So the technique would be sitting there, you know, kicking a bag, kicking a bag, kicking a bag, getting that nice looking kick. That okay, perfect. But you have no attributes to pull it off in combat in the fight. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. So there's many, there's many drills out there from different arts that fantastic arts like the Filipino, you know, or even, you know, Wing Chun, different things like that. So you want better your trapping, you want better your footwork, you want better your explosion, your speed, you know, your timing, all these things here that are what's important in, in the fight, 
okay? When you're kicking the bag or punching the bag, you're only developing so much time. In other words, you can push the bag back to bang. See, if you're trying to push it, bang, trying to hit it. You see what I'm saying? Or you might be both trying to kick it whatsoever. We only want to develop so much timing there. And that is nothing compared to the fight. Do you see what I'm saying? And you only develop this main thing there is the, is the technique, okay, but not the attribute for the end of the fight. Do you see what I'm saying? So that that's it. so that's what you want to look at. How can I develop my attributes? That's what I need because no matter what I am doing, no matter what I'm doing, okay, I have to have attributes to be able to pull it off. You see what I'm saying? Okay, maybe a, 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 a guy catching the football, he's out there and has a guy throw the ball to him, throw the ball to him, run around, throw the ball to him. Then has a guy trying to intercept or whatever. You see what I'm saying? But, that, but that's it. Now you're in the game. Now you are trying to pull off, you know, what you need to pull off, but you develop the attributes for that there. So the technique has some important, but with me, the technique's down here and the attributes are here. Because, like I said, you show the person how to throw a jab. So I can have them just work the bag, you know, for, you know, seven days, just working the bag right here. Or I show them how to throw that jab, you know, maybe for, uh, we'll say for an hour, I'm just saying. You know, now I got, next day he comes, now I got him, you know, even with the focus pad guy moving around, bang, you're hitting him. See, right there, now he's what, developing attributes, when to what? Hit that pad, see? You see what I'm saying? Okay, and then it goes up, and then it goes up. But you are developing that jab, the more you're out here, you are developing as a technique, it's coming out, learn how to do what, what you're doing it out of the, out of the fight. So give one out of the statement that I'm making, I guess, is what about the attributes? And that's what you want to look at, is how do I develop these attributes in combat? Okay, so you have drills, and once you develop the drills, then you break the drills, and then you kind of like what we call freelance, or you can feed, or you spar, but you're going what? At a small percentage, and then maybe once every couple months you go into combat and you go back. But my suggestion is, this is just my personal suggestion from what I see, okay, okay, in, in the, what I call the fight game, is it's mainly the technique to where you need the attribute to pull off the technique. So that technique could be picture perfect. Now I understand doing a card. That's what it's about. I get it. I totally get that. You're doing a card. That's what it's about. Is that picture perfect technique? I get it. But they're not fighting. They are not out here on the street developing that for the street. They're developing that strictly for a tournament, for a competition of form to look good. So I get that. 100% and I'm 100% behind them. I get that. I am talking about the street. I'm talking about the fight game. You develop an attributes so you can defend yourself when need be out here. When anything's going to happen, when the crap's going to hit the fan, from what, when you don't know, size you don't know, who you don't know, weapon, mass attack, whatever it may be, you have no idea. Okay? So, first, I'd like again, I'd like to say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Really do appreciate all you people out there that uh, subscribe to us, watch the videos, all comments. We, uh, we appreciate the comments, we really do. Again, anything you'd like me to go over, maybe shoot a video on, or anything whatsoever. My phone number is out there, give me a call. There's my phone number right here, 330-240-4009. Give me a call, send me a message. I'd be happy to talk with you. I don't know everything. I'm still in the process, process of learning after 50 years. I believe I'll be learning to the day I die, okay? So don't hesitate to do that. And please tell your friends about us, subscribe, like us, and check us out, okay? I want to thank every one of you very, very much, and you have a blessed new year, and stay safe. Thank you.